I am Vivian Khanna. I am a lawyer in the High Court of Himachal Pradesh. I have been practicing since 2010 and I filed a case for legalization of industrial and medicinal cannabis in 2017. And uh, in 2017, when I went to the court, I went there asking the court to give us uh, an understanding of a right based understanding. One was under Article 19, which is right to trade, and why, uh, without, if you don't allow us to uh, do business in industrial cannabis, you violate our right to trade under Article 19. Second was uh, our right under Article 21, which is right of health, a right to life, uh, which includes right of health and providing medicines and prohibiting medicines through an enactment is something which I had challenged that if you uh, impose barriers on the access of medicine that violates an individual's right to medicine under article 21 uh, which is guaranteed by the constitution. These two are the primary rights but even higher than this was the right to research and right of conscious. So right of conscious is mentioned in article 25 of uh, the constitution which also provides for right to religion. So, but Apart from religion, it also provides for right to consciousness. And now consciousness also includes a civilization's right to explore, research and evolve uh, by uh, providing an ecosystem that all these three things can happen. Study, research, uh, uh, you know, scientific research on the land. So this is also a guaranteed right under Article 21. And uh, we went to the court asking why the NDPS Act has to be interpreted in a way that it bans research on uh, cannabis plant. So, fortunately for us, uh, there were 7 lakh farmers, 8 lakh farmers who joined this petition. And uh, they said that our right to trade is violated, they joined it for this. There were some patients also who gave us testimonials. Um, who are dealing with cancer, uh, suffering of cancer, who were saying that we want this if there are uh, testimonials around the world that cancer is being treated from the usage of this plant, this is something we want and access to. Apart from cancer, there were epilepsy and other uh, uh, problems also like you know, pain relief and everything. But main was this critical uh, diseases which needed a redressal. So, fortunately for us, High Court understood these arguments and they started interpreting the NDPS Act. In the NDPS Act, there is section 10 which says that cannabis can be provided for medicinal use. Uh, section 14 of NDPS Act says that cannabis can be provided for horticulture use and industrial use. Now, see, now you have to understand that NDPS Act is a central legislation. It came in 1985. It was passed by the parliament of the country. Now, this central law applies to whole of India. In NDPS Act, there is section 10 which says that the states have the power to make laws with respect to medicinal and industrial cannabis under section 10 and section 14. The problem which uh, was, uh, uh, which accrued and India was facing is that the states have not made any policy in lieu of these sections which have been provided under the central legislation. So we have a framework which provides that you have a right to medicine, you have a right to industrial cannabis, uh, it is not banned. It is provided under NDPS Act. If it was banned, we would have challenged it on the purview of constitution. Because constitution is the grand norm. What is a grand norm means that all the laws flow from the constitution, our rights which are basic and fundamental and natural, they are all provided and recognized by the constitution. In fact, it, uh, just as a side note, the, I'll just tell you something very important about the constitution which you should know, is that this is the only document, specifically the part 3 of this constitution, provides us fundamental rights, where all these rights are there, health, trade, life, uh, equality, everything is there and part 3 of the constitution is the only difference we have between the British India and the free India. 
So the freedom struggle was fought for part 3 of the constitution, specifically the freedoms which are enshrined in Article 21, 19 and 14. This challenge in the High Court was based on the conjoint reading of these three articles and uh, the guarantee which the constitution provides. And in addition to that, what we said in the court was that if you have provided these, uh, uh, these rights are guaranteed under the central law, NDPS Act, then the states, when they are not making a framework for medicinal or industrial cannabis, they are omission, there is an omission in their duty and that omission violates my fundamental right. So the example I can give you is that you have roads, you have car, you have uh, drivers, but you don't have an authority which gives driving licenses. So you have a freedom to drive the car, you have freedom to purchase the car, you have a road, but if the licensing authority who is providing driving licenses is not there, that itself violates it. Though the central law provides that you can drive, but if the state authority does not make the framework, that itself violates our fundamental right. Now surprisingly it sounds very simple and logical, but surprisingly for, for 45 years this was not done. And in our case, uh, this is the first case in India where under NDPS Act, three orders were passed where the High Court directed the state government that you make a policy for industrial and medicinal cannabis and you make a committee and an advisory uh, board and certainly you should start scientific research on it because you cannot ban scientific research because it is an essential and critical part of human evolution and a basic uh, natural right which every human being is born with and the country only recognizes it. No government provides you these rights. They are, the constitution also doesn't provide you these rights. They, are, they recognize it. They are pre-existing natural rights which are recognized by the constitution. Parliament doesn't provide you. You are born with it. So this was the essence of it. It is not about cannabis. It is about right to life. It is about inalienable and uh, natural rights which human beings possess. So specifically for the state of Himachal, uh, we needed this because in Himachal you don't have other plants growing in certain areas, you have only this plant growing. In other areas, the other crops are being destroyed by monkeys, monkeys don't attack this plant. So it was very viable and critical for the farmers of Himachal to come and join this fight. Eventually right now we have 560 panchayats which are supporting this petition and uh, the government has made me as a uh, part of the Himachal Head Committee after the orders of the High Court and I have drafted the, uh, the, uh, the legislation the enactment for the government which will be modified by the government for sure but they have hired me as an independent legal practitioner to help them so the, the draft which I have made it is very essential I just take two minutes more and I take it too much time one minute more of how the draft should look like because it's extremely important that we are successful and Himachal is critical for India right now because what happens in Himachal please forget that what is uh, happening in Uttarakhand and Madhya Pradesh nothing is happening for four years what they have done in the policies how they have, how they have come out and uh, the problems at bureaucratic level and at the political level are too grave to overcome in our situation in Himachal it is better because uh, the people who have come in power right now, they were supporting the case also. These farmers, who, they were supporting the case. So, we are not affiliated to any political party. I am personally not uh, affiliated to any polit political party. But what we have right now is that the farmers, the 560 panchayats which supported the petition, they, uh, the government was formed by them. So, we have a very clear route right now where the government is very excited to invite investors and have memorandums of understanding signed with businesses across India and very soon we are going to invite everyone of you that's why I am here that's the sole reason I am here so that I spread the word and uh, we help the state uh, the farmers of the state and the government of the state to make a good policy so that the rest of India can follow and that's the only way it can happen and make it a right based arguments wherever in whichever state you are fighting for and of course I can help you with my petition, with my legal research I have submitted 8000 pages of research to the High Court High Court has directed the government to go through that research which is also quite uh, in, a, in an order they are sending so uh, government, uh, they didn't go through the research but they uh, appointed me to 
uh, draft the policy. So uh, this is very friendly and uh, uh, when we invite you all, all, all of you, so you come with the mindset that Himachal is going to lead India in the uh, cannabis revolution. Thank you.